Hey you guys. We're gonna do a lip declutter today in this video. It is long overdue. If you've been watching my channel, you might know that at the beginning of the year, I did a massive makeup declutter and I thought I had a handle on everything, which was super naive of me. There was the section of my lip area that I was like, okay, I, I don't have organizers for it yet. I'll get, I'll get them, I'll get a handle on it and I'll go through the last little bit of things to declutter. Well, I never did that because the world kind of fall, fell apart shortly thereafter. So since then, it has gotten crazy out of hand. I mean crazy, like I don't know how it got this bad, but it, it's just so bad. So I need to go through everything. I need to get rid of things that I know have gone a little bit funky, but I was honestly just waiting to toss it so I could put it into a lip declutter video, which is really weird. But you know, I want to talk about the products because they're things that I used to love that anyways, you, you know, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Um, if you are new to my channel, new to my face, my name is Ashley Ellix. I post to cruelty free beauty related videos three times a week. If you want to subscribe, you can hit that little red button down below, but I'm ready to dive into it. I'm not ready. I've been putting this off for literal months, but every time I go into my makeup drawers, it's just the lip section is just taking over everything. Like just like a wave and it's just, it's bad. You'll, you'll see in a sec. So if that sounds all good and dandy to you, if you want to see all of that, sit back, hang tight, and please don't judge me. Okay. This is what we are working with on pretty much from here over some spillage over there. And then because it all took over all my blushes and bronzers got all crazy too. And it just kind of, uh, that's just kind of what happens, I think. So let me take everything out, lay it all out and let's get, let's get going. I do want to say really quickly, you are seeing some Jeffree Star lippies in this collection and I haven't completely like come out in public to say it, but I have answered a couple questions in the comments of people that were asking if I was gonna still be using Jeffree Star products going forward or what. Basically to sum up, no, I will no longer be purchasing or like promoting, talking about Jeffree Star cosmetics just because I honestly found out stuff that I wasn't really behind and I couldn't get on board with and I just, I can't. There's plenty of other brands out there that I'd rather spend my money on and talk about, you know? So I'm not gonna be throwing away those perfectly good products. I'll get rid of the ones for sure that like are completely bad. But moving forward, if you're wondering why I'm not talking about it, unfortunately, that's why if you feel like you need like a more in-depth video from me, let me know. But I think that kind of pretty much much says it so but you know you do what you do this is what i feel comfortable with moving forward and yeah let's jump back into it Okay, so everything is all laid out and I feel a little tiny bit less overwhelmed now that everything is out. It looked really crazy when it was deep in the drawers, but now that I see everything, I'm like, okay, I can already see a bunch of stuff that I need to get rid of. This is the organizing system that I was using and that's just not working. So we'll, we'll talk more about new organization things at the end. I also just ran downstairs and grabbed these four bowls. That way I can divide and organize as I go without everything rolling off my table. So I'll have one for lip liner, I'll have one for lip gloss, lipstick, and liquid lipstick. Now let's start for real now. Okay, you guys are like, come on already. I think I'm gonna start with the lip liners. I'm just gonna go through and I'll show you the ones that I'm keeping and the ones that I'm tossing. So these are all the lip liners that I'm keeping. I have a few from NYX that I absolutely love. Nude Beige, Mauve, and I even have a purple one just in case, and Sandstorm. And then I have a few from Urban Decay that I really like, uh, one from BH Cosmetics, and one of my favorites, which is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in a Nude. So these are the ones that I'm keeping, pretty much all nudes except one wild purple color. These are the lip liners that I'm getting rid of. So we're off to a pretty good start. I'm getting rid of five right off the bat. I have this one from Bare Minerals that I know has gone bad. Same with this Jane Iron one and this Rodiel one. This NYX one I was kind of bummed about. It's like a little lavender lip liner. It just feels like kind of tuggy as I go to use it and kind of patchy. I don't remember, remember it being super smooth, but I think it's just, I've used it a few times, but it's not worth keeping. And then this one from NYX is their classic beige lip liner. This one is a little too light for my lip color. I'll double check before I toss it, but I like nude beige better. Mauve is my absolute favorite color, but yeah. 
That one just is not working for me. Go through these lip crayons really quickly since they're already sorted and I'm keeping all of these ones. I think I might be getting rid of one of these, but I have these Buxom lip crayons that they don't work great as a lip liner, but I do like them as a lip crayon and I do really like the colors. I'm gonna throw them all in with the lip liners just because they're kind of in a stick form. Same thing with these Bite lip crayons. I love these nude shades. They are so, so pretty and they smell so yummy. I do have like a berry tone as well that I'll be keeping. And these are really nice lip crayons. I really like them. They're, they, they're called power matte, but they're not crazy matte. They're kind of more satin to me, but they're super, super comfortable. And then this one I'm kind of on the fence about. I think I, I think it's time to toss it. I can't tell if it's gone bad or not. It's really pretty though. Yeah, it just, it smells kind of off. So I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna say goodbye. This is the Glow Mineral Suede Matte Lip Crayon. I just found one more lip crayon and it's from Sigma. It's this Euphoria Lip Base. It's like this pink shade. I can't even find it on the website anymore. So I'm just gonna toss it. I haven't used it in who knows how long. It's time to go. Uh, <laughs> well, that one just fell apart, okay. Uh, still works though. This one's actually pretty new. That's pretty funny. Just gotta be careful with it, I guess. Uh, this one, I always come back to this one. I'm always on the fence because I love the shade. This is the Tarte Color Splash in Rum Punch, but it just dries my lip out like, lips out like crazy. And I used it in a video where I was trying to decide if I was gonna keep it. And then I, I guess I decided to keep it, but I think I just forgot about it and didn't go back. But a couple people commented that it also dries their lips out. So I don't know what it is about this lipstick, but why should I keep it? I don't ever grab it because I'm worried that it's gonna dry my lips out so goodbye Okay, let me show you what I'm getting rid of first and I'm disappointed in myself. It's really not that much yet. So obviously I'm getting rid of this NYX high voltage because at some point I lost the lid. I don't wear it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. This one is a little bit sad, but it's my fault for not wearing it that much. I fell in love with this shade when I first used it, the Urban Decay Back Talk. Anybody else use that? But I remember the last time I used it, my lips did feel super dry, like the lipstick is just drying out. I didn't go back and declutter it right away because I forgot, but it's time to say goodbye. Aren't these the cutest though. I wish I liked the formula better for their lipsticks because I would collect them all. Little bullet, it's so adorable, but these ones are going for sure. And now I have these little guys, these cute little travel each size lipsticks and they're still fine, but I can't decide if I wanna keep them with my lipsticks or in these mini little mini container that I have. They're so cute, it'd be nice to keep them in a little cup. But when I do that, I forget that I have them because when I'm looking at my lipsticks, I'm not thinking about if I have mini lipsticks, so. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but for now, let me just pop them in here, keep them like that, and there we go. So these are all the ones that I'm keeping, mostly variations of nudes. I do have some fun colors from CoverGirl that I do really like. Now I have this problem. <laughs> where I like to keep packaging of some products. So you'll see I have my Ariel ColourPop one. I'm keeping that for sure. This Pure Barbie one, the problem with this is the outside packaging is pretty, but the inside is even better. So I don't know which one I like more. I love, love this lipstick. This was last year's edition. So I'm not gonna decide yet, but there's that. You might've noticed that I am throwing away some boxes that I was keeping in those drawers. I need to get a handle on that. I usually don't keep the boxes this long, but like SpongeBob was so cute, but I just, I got it. It's not working for me because if it's in a box, I forget to use it. So I need it right in front of me. I'm trying to be functional, not fashionable or something. Let's do, let's do liquid lipstick next. Now there's already two that I know I can get rid of, these Dose of Colors, which is really sad. I love this formula and I love Stone, but these are the ones that went bad a while ago that I was like, I'll do them in a declutter video and then I'm finally getting around to it. Oof, yeah, something ain't right, but I will 100% be repurchasing Stone. I don't think I'll get Bear With Me again just because it wasn't the perfect nude for me, but Stone, Stone I just loved. So these are bye bye Okay, so we got six this round that we're getting rid of. We already talked about the Dose of Colors, this BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen in Natalie. That one went bad. That was a good center of the lips one for my skin tone. I liked that. And then I'm sad about these, but it's my own fault, of course. These are the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Mattes. These have gotten like greasy on the outside, which means they must be bubbling up and leaking, which is really gross. So these have to go. They're a nice, if they still make them, I have to even see. They're a nice like lip souffle type of texture, really hydrating, really smooth. I do like how comfortable they are. So these are 
all the ones that I'm keeping up here. I love my Milani Amore satin mats. I might declutter a few of these after the Halloween fall season because I do have like three different styles of the black. I have them in like, um, what is it? Like just whatever the regular formula is, which I don't like as much, but I'm gonna try them one more time, one more season. If I don't love that texture or whatever, if I don't use it, I'll move on with my life and move on. But I love also Stila, Stay All Days. I have a bunch of the Too Faced Melteds that I like and some Tarte ones too, but I am missing my dose of color. So I'm gonna have to replace that next time there's a sale. I'm all jump on that for sure. I'm not gonna do it full price because I don't need to. I have a lot of lippies that I have to get through going on before I add anything else to my collection other than the stuff that. I've already bought for the holidays that I uh, haven't added to this stuff yet. Okay. Last for liquid lips are my Jeffree Star liquid lips. So like I mentioned, I'm just not going to be using them in camera or anything anymore. I'll hang on to them for a little bit. Whatever I don't use, I'll part ways with, but I'm not going to throw anything away just because I'm not going to be purchasing moving forward. I, the makeup's still good. All of this stuff was at the latest last year in mystery boxes. A lot of these are mystery boxes. Um, you know, you'll see the mystery ones too. You know what? I am actually going to declutter purple urkel because i just remembered that that one was kind of weird on me and like patchy so you know that's something i'm getting rid of something i will keep the rest of these and just try to go through them like, like i said i just won't be talking about them in the future i know everyone will have their own opinion on that once again i'm not here to judge you just you know know that moving forward that's what's going on with me i'm sorry if that is disappointing to you but i just got to do what i'm comfortable with so it hurts me it does because i do have a lot of products but it is what it is and moving forward i will just support other brands okay moving on two more liquid lipsticks i found that i need to toss so when i did my declutter at the beginning of the year i told myself whichever ones i don't use you gotta toss it ashley so i never used this gray one and i'm pretty sure it's donezo anyways and same thing with this aoa studio time to toss bye bye oh these are lipsticks too okay these are fine though now I'll, I'll probably just break these up and put them in with this little section over here okay are we ready i think it's time for lip gloss which is the majority of this situation <laughs> Okay, so these are the ones that I'm getting rid of for sure. So, I mean, hey, who remembers Lip Fusion, Lip Infatuation? Do they even make these anymore? I don't know. I used to love them, but I got to be real with myself. I have no idea how old these are, and that's just not acceptable for my lips. Okay, so moving on from those, this went bad. This just kind of smells off. It's the Katy Perry cover girl. Um, uh, same thing with the Smashbox went bad. This Urban Decay, I'm just decluttering it. It's that vice transforming thing because it always just kind of felt weird on my lips, so I just don't need to keep it. And then these I'm decluttering just because I was sent them in PR all the shades, and I don't need to hang on to all of them so I kept two if I don't use those then I will toss them as well but these will be going and then same thing with these winky lux I'm going to keep two of the bombs this s'mores one that actually just really made me mad when I was reviewing it because it just didn't smell like s'mores um and the color was just kind of okay I'll be getting rid of this one because yeah I don't see myself using it these ones maybe if I don't use them before the declutter then I won't they're a really pretty product. You know, there's pH balance and color changing, but I'm like a matte liquid lipstick and lip gloss kind of girl, if you can't tell, you know, with the transition over here. And this I actually got as a gift with purchase when I was purchasing something from Ulta, I think. And it's not really my shades, but I can see my mom using this shade more and I didn't ever use it yet. So I'll give this to her to try out. It's half liquid lipstick, half lip oil. So maybe she'll like it. I don't know, we'll see. So 11 that round. Okay, I'm doing a pretty good job. Give my a little pat on the back give me a round of applause okay not too shabby i think the last thing i got right here is the huda beauty demi matte lip creams liquid lipstick weird thingies so i got these in the mystery bags from huda beauty earlier this year and i loved them when they were swatched the colors were so pretty but i don't really like them on they're very odd i think i think i might keep provocateur because i just really like the shade and maybe i can make it work and you know what i like the packaging but i think i need to take it out i think i do i think i need to take it out uh or else i really won't use it so i need to get over this thing that i have with packaging it's a problem i know maybe i'll keep day slayer let me see i just i have to be realistic with myself what am i actually gonna use oh it's so pretty though okay i'll keep day slayer if i don't end up using it then i need to toss it next 
next time. And I don't think I'm gonna be, I mean, I don't have any pinks though. What if I need a pink? one you know this is my problem and these are also fairly new to me so it's hard to get rid of it when it's this new <gasps> that is so cool okay i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna keep it i take everything i said back this one i remember liking too when i wore it i just didn't like the formula that much but if i throw a lip gloss on top okay okay i'm gonna keep them okay don't be disappointed in me but we'll see we'll see what i use next round you'll get an update in from me in the future okay so here are all my declutters and you know what i think i did pretty good i'm actually pretty proud of myself all right i think i counted 32 that's not bad for me that's not bad you guys these some of these were some difficult decisions but a lot of them were not difficult it was time to let them go out of my life and then here is everything that i'm keeping yes it's still a lot but just keep in mind i do youtube i do make Makeup, so this is just part of my life. Do I end up using the same nude lipsticks and liquid lipsticks all the time? Yes, I do. Okay, it's a problem, I know, but maybe, just maybe, if I organize this better, I will be able to break that habit and do more <laughs> variety. That's the goal, at least, to be able to use more of these products. And with that being said, I need to come up with a different storage solution and organization system for that little empty space in my drawer right here because that other system clearly was not working. But the good news is, is I actually already found something that I think I'm gonna try out. So I'm gonna be logging off right now and I'm gonna jump on Amazon. I'm gonna order it right now or else I'll never do it. And I'm gonna put my mind to it and I'm gonna do it when I get that system in. I will film it for you guys. We will get organized. I don't think I'm gonna keep this system forever. I think I will have to change, but I'm ordering something that can be flexible and change out to a different drawer system when the time comes. But yeah, if you wanna see that video, make sure you are subscribed. That way you don't miss out on future organization, decluttering and all beauty related videos. Thank you so much for stopping by today, you guys. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this was somewhat satisfying to see me get rid of 32 lip products and you're not disappointed in me. I'm proud of myself and I think that that counts for something. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!